on this super spooky Halloween special episode, I want to talk about data that's uncollectible or often missed during collection process. Let's talk about that. The reason why I wanted to talk about this data is when we collect cell phone or laptop or some other device, people assume that all the data on that laptop gets collected and everything that's possible gets extracted, analyzed, and somebody puts their eyes on the data and figures out whether it's relevant or not relevant to the case. And the first type of data is going to be pretty obvious. Those are your Instagram stories or other types of data that self-destructs after a certain time period. You have text messages that do that and Instagram stories or stories on YouTube or other platforms that adopt in similar uh, ways of sharing content. Another type of data is you get emails like Gmail and confidential mode that you can get to. You can't save and forward those. So those kinds of emails will not be collected. Just if you have emails that could be restricted or self-destruct, you can have the same thing with text messages. Text messages could be part of a private conversation that cannot be collected, and those text messages could self-destruct after a certain period of time as well. Now, the other problem you could have with chats is if you have unusual chat applications, like something forensic software is not expecting. Now, the crazy thing about chat applications is you don't actually have to use an uh, app from an app store to chat with somebody. You can download a pre-made chat app for your iPhone or Android, and just the two people can install it on their phones and they'd be the only users and you can have a private conversations that would not be discovered by anybody. And if you want to get really crazy, you can masquerade that chat application as like a game or something. So when somebody looks at the list of things, they'll find like a, a knockoff of Candy Crush or something, but inside it's actually a chat application. And there are more places where you can hide your data and store it in different places on your computer that would make it uh, almost non-discoverable or very difficult to discover during normal process of investigation. For example, you can put your text files, let's say you're taking notes and you're saving them somewhere that contain like super confidential information. Well, what you could do is save them as text files and name them .log and just save them in a Windows system folder. Since no one expects them to be there, people would assume that any log files found are non-user generated or system and those files will simply be ignored. And the other place where you could lose data is with unsupported file types, but not simply unsupported by processing. File types that should be processable, but there's something different about them that processing system doesn't support. So for example, like a very old versions of Word or WordPerfect that are no longer supported. If someone were to use that application specifically, their files would never be discovered. Another example of this would be WinRAR files. Now, WinRAR files are normally processed by most processing software. However, there are certain flavors of it that are not actually supported. Uh, for example, like WinRAR files with encrypted file names or multi-part self-extracting RAR files. And sometimes you just don't know when you're gonna get one. And if you check documentation for support file types, it'll say, yeah, WinRAR is supported, but there's a little asterisk there. And if you scroll to the bottom, it'll say, well, actually, so-and-so does not gonna be processed properly. So that is my list of spooky data that usually gets missed or can be missed during collection process. If you got a data type in mind that gets missed during collections in your experience or can be missed if someone tries to hide it well enough, leave it in the comment section below. I'd like to know about it. All right, so this is next day and I realize I may not have clarified some of the points yesterday. It was really crowded, noisy, lots of kids. I couldn't even place my camera anywhere. So let me just go over three points that I want to clarify after this whole Halloween video. First quick clarification is there is such thing as self-destructing data. Instagram stories, chat messages that said to expire after a certain amount of time. If you did not take a screenshot of it, the data is gone. Next point I was trying to make is if someone is trying to hide data and you're not expecting it, you are probably going to miss it during collection or processing. Normally when we collect and process data, we assume users are normal users of their devices. They're not trying to hide something or create some kind of schemes or secret communications. They're just normal users. They text, they email, they save their files. And because of that, we have certain processes created for collections and processing. Because of that, if somebody is trying to hide something, like an example with log files, if somebody is using text files and saving them as .log and saving them in the Windows folder, well, Windows folder most likely to get thrown out during processing. So that's why it would be easy to miss that. However, if you are expecting user to be hiding something, then you would probably follow a different process. You would 
uh, get the deleted space, you would investigate their data more thoroughly, something you can't do for just any person. If you were to try to do such an in-depth analysis for every user, you would never complete your work. You'd be analyzing deleted space for days on end. And the third point was weird file types. Again, it's really unlikely that somebody is going to be using like WordPerfect 2.0 to try to uh, hide their My Documents folder because if they do it too much, they're going to be a big exception report of these old WordPerfect files. But if they do it once in a while, they could get away with hiding something because inexperienced analysts will just throw an exception queue, hoping the reviewer will investigate and reviewer will just look at it and say, ah, this is some corrupt system and just move on past it. So hopefully that clarifies some of the points I was trying to make yesterday. Again, sorry, it was really noisy, dark, probably hard to figure out, but I thought it was an entertaining video. So I'm going to post that video along with my notes here and hopefully you'll enjoy it. All right, talk to you guys later.